you know, what was it? What was he said just a moment ago? It was, um, oh to, yeah, yeah, that was it. I have not actually looked into Darwin at all. Ah, oh yeah, that sprinkle yeah. of honesty, beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> Get yourself another S cup of S tea S or coffee. Yeah. And now, on to Matt Powell. Oh, God. Darwinism is so weak, and I want to end it here. Two seconds in, and uh, already a thing to say. It keeps happening yeah. with these videos, doesn't it? It's like we They're barely great. start. And it's great. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. It yeah, must be because they just get such great points on the table right at the beginning. <laughs> mm, absolutely. Like the earth spins. Yeah. Mm. Well, I suppose the thing I want to sort of say uh -huh. here is, well, Darwinism mm. is essentially the theory of evolution as it was proposed by Darwin. Yeah. It kind of ceased to be Darwinism once, well, Darwin ceased to be. Yeah. We, we just call it evolution. Yeah, because people <laughs> built on it and developed it, yeah. right? Um, the thing that gets me is that it's creationists that call it Darwinism. Mm. And you'll find that like biologists in general and people that accept evolution in general don't call it Darwinism. No, they call it evolution, evolution by natural selection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or evolution broadly, because yeah. it contains, as you said, Darwin's ideas plus other ideas mm. um, and theories and, and frameworks and facts and so on. But one of the reasons that creationists tend to insist on Darwinism is that they, they conflate it and amalgamate it so that they can pull in abiogenesis they can say that it has something yeah. to do with the origin of life as well hoven's been doing this for what at least 30 years and powell's just who has ever seen these stickers when they go down the road very common yeah matt and Jer uh josh has seen them it depends on where you live matt because yeah. we're in england and we just don't see them if you're in in a location where people accept evolution you don't need stickers no yeah, yeah. Um, actually funny enough yeah we also don't tend to see jesus stickers because People over here just don't tend to no. put the religious views out there. The much. English are wonderfully private people. <laughs> um, I, I will say that if I did start seeing Jesus sti uh, stickers all over cars, yeah. I would start trolling the hell out of that. I'd have a real... Really? Yeah, definitely. I'd troll the hell out. It's, like, really if, don't it's care. like if people started putting on their cars, <laughs> I've not been vaccinated. I would definitely troll that. Like, that would be great fun. I'd still just look at it and think, oh, you're So we have a difference of opinion. Are. I'm going to heaven and you're going to hell. All okay. right? That's how this game is played. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I still don't care. <laughs> also, talking of like um, symbols and like these stickers, symbols and whatnot, mm -hmm. how often do you see people wearing necklaces containing the execution method of their favourite superhero? <laughs> that one's pretty common. That one is very common, I have you know. But yeah. 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 Um, um, actually, sorry. Before we continue on, yeah. I'm already pissed off for another reason. Okay. I know that music. I love that music because I love that video game. It's from a video game. I was going to say, and, is it like a And scare? I am very upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, I, I, I'm so nerdy here. I, I know and love this game so much. It's Ace Combat 5. <laughs> that soundtrack in, that, mm -hmm. in particular is from Mission 4, and it's called First Flight. <laughs> I, I was about to accuse you of being a nerd. Seconds in, and no, no, I no, already no. know that. I was about to accuse you of being a nerd, but we deal with people that go, actually, in John 13, like, <laughs> how's it different? Um, but yeah, if you yeah, can yeah. remember that, I can recall music. Yeah, of course you can. Fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're both fantasies. Now, but um... He should I, not be allowed to use that. No, anything that Powell touches... And that's all, any other fans of that series out there, if he was playing Zero, I would just be closing this video now. <laughs> yeah. Just wouldn't, wouldn't be allowed to carry on. <laughs> that's why he started putting in these tracks. <laughs> No, he's clearly put these tracks in to try and get people caught on copyright. Repl no, he, yeah, he has. He, he put in The Last Samurai from Hans Zimmer. Yeah, yeah. I will strangle you. Like, you do not <laughs> use that track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a joke, by the way. It's a metaphor. <laughs> Metaphorically strangled. It's metaphorical strangle. <laughs> I wonder if there's any necklaces with, like, two hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's really dark. <laughs> well, if that's how Jesus died, that's what they'd have. I've seen them all the time. <laughs> Look, anybody that puts a Darwin fish on their car, that person might as well just tell me, I have not actually looked into Darwin at all. Anyone who puts a Jesus sticker on their car might as well mm. tell me, they have not looked into Christianity at all. Yeah, because a car is a possession and Jesus told you to give up your worldly possessions. Yeah, that's really, really weird. Mm. Why aren't more Christians communists? Good point. Good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I like it. That's true. Darwin could not even get a job. You're putting a sticker of a guy that could not even get a job. His dad had to get him a job. Now, 
I know Matt Powell is completely unfamiliar with education. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could be any harsh on that. At the moment, he no. is a nasty individual to a lot of people. I know. So I, I think you it's, I think it's fair. Yeah. But Darwin was at it was at Christ Christ College in Cambridge mm-hmm. until 1831, mm-hmm. and it was his professor there that proposed he join the Beagle's voyage. And just to be clear, his professor wasn't also his dad, was it? No, it oh, wasn't. Okay. Mm, no, interesting. And oh, and yeah, interestingly yeah, yeah. enough, yeah, yeah. Um, his father was actually initially opposed to Darwin joining this voyage, so um, well, he go. didn't help him get this job because mm. he didn't want him to have it. Yeah, what was it? What was he said just a moment ago? It was, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was it. I have not actually looked into Darwin at all. Ah, oh, yeah, that sprinkle of honesty. Beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. (laughs) Also, is it just me, or is Powell somehow getting worse? Like, the level of non-sequitur here is insane. Person X couldn't get a job, therefore anything they think of is false. Do you know, um, Jesus couldn't get a job. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he did get a small loan from his father to, to d- <laughs> and became the, eventually became the man of hell. But um <laughs> yeah, his, his job his, his job now though is is largely just to sort of hang around on on Christian walls, necks and cars. And you know what? His father did get him that job. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> he was such a failure in life, an unpaid job as a comforter for a ship captain as they're floating about near the Galapagos. Unpaid job. It was a it was a self-funded scientific voyage, wasn't it? Yep. I mean, now, I know Matt won't do anything unless he's paid for it. That's, that's kind of why he does his preaching. Um, it's only there to earn him those easy bucks from gullible fools. And, and heaven, and heaven. And, and, yeah. Nah. nah. <laughs> that, that's secondary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I honestly no, yeah, don't know. Yeah, no, I feel like he's just a pure grifter. Yeah. But people like Darwin and Jesus, they, they didn't need to receive money to do their work. No, they did not. But the thing that really got me is his use of the word comforter. Yeah, it's a bit... Like, it's a bit odd, that's isn't it? used in in the sense of normally for sexual reasons. That that's generally what my yeah, mind yeah, yeah. goes to when you someone say they're a comforter. Mm. Um, yeah. No, he he was invited there as a naturalist and a gentleman. A gentleman. Yeah. Now now I'm understanding the comfort. That's where that's coming in. Well, gentleman. Yeah. I think he's got confused between naturalist and naturist. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All this time, that, gets, that, that correlates with him saying, I don't really know much about Darwin. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's a naturist. He, he, he thinks he's just quite like to walk around in the nude. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. But he is a gentleman, so he, he's a nudist he, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, hat. Yeah. He, he is, he is. Uh, yeah, Darwin didn't need to be earning money to investigate the world, right? No. He didn't need it. Whereas, um, well, he's happy to receive money from Daddy Hoven, didn't he? Yeah, he is. He's happy to, to did, do um, that. Yeah. Did Daddy Hoven get Matt Powell this job? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I think he even lives in his house. Oh, it's creepy, isn't it? Oh, is, it, he's, oh, is he, he? Is it as a naturalist? No, as a comforter. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what a joke. This is the man that they say is so scientific. They have a statue of Darwin. How, sorry, how many statues of Jesus are there? Quite a few. I yeah. mean, I'd, I'd quite be in favour of, you know, the big one in uh, Rio, de Je- Rio de Janeiro. No, to come down, yeah, 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 and we'll put a massive one of Darwin up there uh, in his naturist state, or <laughs> <laughs> oh, so amazing! I got to see the Darwin statue. Oh, really? Darwin said, and I quote: "Often a cold shudder has run through me, and I've asked myself whether I've devoted myself to a fantasy." Oh, really? Well, Matt Powell said, and I quote. I've never looked into Darwin. I have not actually looked into Darwin at all. I have not actually looked into Darwin at all. Oh, so amazing. I got to see the Darwin statue. Oh, really? Darwin said, and I quote, often a cold shudder has run through me, and I've asked myself whether I've devoted myself to a fantasy. Charles Darwin was afraid that he was living in a fantasy. (sighs) We've got another deflate, haven't we? This is like Lucas from Deflate last week, again with Oren Ra. Yep. Where, um, yeah, we got an apologist. Quote mining Darwin, pretending that he had doubts or something. Let's To be honest, I could almost guarantee and mm. granted I'm I'm not certain. Well Matt was gonna pick me up on not being certain. Um but I, <laughs> I can yeah. almost guarantee that the following sentence is probably gonna start with something in the in the realms of but 
Yeah, and then a, go on to explain why something is is true. It normally is. Let's let, let let's Google it. Let's Google it. Okay. Five minutes later. Cool. Um, I was wrong, and he's going to quote mine that as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. This particular quote comes from a a letter to his mentor Charles Lyell, where he expresses consideration of the times that humans have pursued an idea that has turned out to be false, and he mm. wondered it if it of his own, but. The support that he's had from his his mentors and his peers have helped to reinforce this sort of goal of, in his pursuit of truth. Yeah. Context important. Th- this one quote where they have Darwin actually expressing some modicum of self doubt, and they yep. still fuck it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least this time they did find the self doubt part, but they, yeah, the quote mining itself messes that part up. Is it just me, or do you think that Powell? Powell's job is to grossly misrepresent things. Do you reckon that's, that's what he's paid to do? Yeah. You know, Brother Parsons, if I got up here and I said, you know, Will, it's been great giving this message here tonight, but I'm afraid I'm living in a fantasy. Well, that's a quote I think we'll keep for the future. It is. He <laughs> likes quote mining. No, Will, it's been great giving this message here tonight, but I'm afraid I'm living in a fantasy. Would you trust anything that I'm saying? No. So when Darwin says, I'm afraid I'm living a fantasy, why in the world would you trust somebody like that? Because humility is a virtue. It even says that in the Bible. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, man, if if someone says to me, here's my thoughts, I'm not completely certain of this, but this is why I think it's true. Mm. I think I'd probably ask them, okay, go on then, give, give us what you've got. I'll have a look and I'll see if I agree with you. I'm with you on that. And if someone was to come up and say, I'm 100% certain on something, and not only that, I'm 100% certain on on, on topics where the, our best minds are nowhere near 100%, I'm, I'm going to call bull. Yeah, like, yeah I'm with you on that's that. Not, that's not a good thing. Why not trust somebody that said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life? Oh, that sounds a bit, bit arrogant to me. Well, yeah. Just a little bit arrogant if someone says that. If someone says yeah. to me, I am the way, the truth, and the life, mm. and that salvation is only through me, then the first thing I'm going to say to them, fucking prove it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if they then threaten you with eternal punishment if you don't believe them? Fucking prove that as well. <laughs> <laughs> somebody who spoke with absolutes. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Not somebody who says, I'm afraid I'm living in a fantasy. Jesus didn't speak like that. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Did Jesus say that? Or did John say that 60 to 70 years after the former supposedly died? Well, if I say it with confidence, will you then believe it? Well, if, if you say that if you are I the way, the truth, and the life. Confidence, yeah, if I say give it, it. Give it. Okay, okay. I wanted to do the whacked uh, style, but you no, told me off no, for that, no, okay? Please, no. I... I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, good. Did it. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck off, Matt. (laughs) No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus spoke in absolutes. Darwin said, I'm afraid I'm living in a fantasy. Who are you going to trust, folks? Are you going to trust God, or are you going to trust man? Man, because I, I know man is real. That does help. It does. It does, it does help, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who are you going to trust? A brilliant scientist whose theory and works have stood the test of time, being, you know, criticised from every single angle, with new fields being able to completely overturn his, his work, or someone who consistently misrepresents, distorts, and manipulates information. I'm sure all of that was great. I only heard mm. the very first bit when you went, who are going to trust? Because I just suddenly thought of like an off-brand Ghostbusters. Yes. If there's something natural in the neighbourhood, who are you going to trust? Godbusters. Are you going to trust the man who couldn't get a job? The man who was a failure in life? Is he talking about Jesus again? What do you mean a failure in life? Well, well, Jesus didn't do so well at that preaching thing. They killed him for it. Uh, yeah, no, I see I'd say that's from. a failure yeah, of life. Yeah, there's a failure of <laughs> he, life. He didn't keep living. <laughs> he didn't keep living. That's very, very true. Although he didn't really die. You know, uh, it's a sacrifice where actually something wasn't sacrificed. It's amazing. Um, no, he's talking about the guy who is, his work is the, the foundation of modern scientific knowledge. That's the guy who he thinks is a failure. The man who literally went onto a ship 
landed on the Galapagos, saw a couple of finches, and concluded that finches and bananas were related. That's not what he concluded. But sod it, I don't care anymore. Yeah, I, I'm done with this clown.